talking to you on my paddleboard this morning. I ran out of battery when I was trying to blow it up. My pump ran out of battery, so it's a little um, wobbly this morning. <laughs> I don't know how far I'll be going, but it's a beautiful morning out. And I'm excited to be on the water. It gives me so much peace. Uh, I just absolutely love it, especially in the morning light. <laughs> somewhere and then we can hop around and shoot. Okay. Um, so he's got stuff. I got stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So let's go we'll do the stairs first, I think. So we can walk down this way if it's easier for you guys if you have the field. I'm gonna have you come down here. This way maybe yeah yeah come down to the ground because I want I just want the stairs stairs behind you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're going to from here like walk and like lift off okay so okay. yeah and you're gonna like look away so you can look that way or this way and like just kind of and then we'll go back and just like this so okay. it's all about motion and movement for this one use the wind to your advantage so if it's blowing into you like this like go into the wind like that whatever yeah just kind of play with it beautiful beautiful Thank you. 
Oh, these guys, you can just walk around. These are the sweetest two on the farm. Oh, so awesome. Don't worry about these guys at all. Okay. So these two are mine. I ride them. Okay. These two, um, they, they're, I mean, they're all trail rides. Woo! Woo! He's Woo. giving you post dressage <laughs> poses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he actually used to be a pony horse, so the race horses, he would oh. be the one that would take them out. Yeah, not with your hands on it though. So, yeah, it's just kind of like this way, like S shape. Yeah, okay. So, what I'm going to have you do is put your legs straight for a second. Yes, exactly. And then just hold your hip to the side. Yep, yep, just like that. Right? It's kind of a nice. Let's see if we can bring. Okay, I'm just going to kind of keep I can putting stand by you places. Him. Yeah. Can I put a halter on and then you can hold yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Do that. Okay. I don't mind yeah, halter. No, perfect. whatever works. That'll be, Woo! yeah. <laughs> His tail. I don't know. This dress looks really cool Hi, with the white. Hi, buddy. Trying to confirm you can go again. Travel's photo bobbing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> My shot. <Is> <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's like, no. I know you. I know. No. How about if I scratch? I know you want the flowers. <laughs> yeah, look at him again. And now look at me. Beautiful. And I want to do one close up. I know. I know. Can you come this way? Yeah, and just kind of nuzzle into him. Yeah. He's so cute. Can you put your hand, the other hand up? Like, yeah, 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 just softly. Oh, yes, 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 I know. But this is like, I would really like it. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Beautiful. Very, very. Yes. Oh, now you're going to move and change the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that looks oh. really good. Nice. Okay, right there. Oh, yes, so pretty, so pretty. Yeah, I know you did. I modeled already. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. These are stunning. Back at me for one, two, three. Pull your shoulder back. Pull your body back. Yeah, he's done. He's done. That's cool. We got some good shots. <laughs> When did we first meet? Brothers Osborne. <laughs> yeah, Brothers Osborne brought us together. <laughs> so, okay, I want to ask you a few questions about yourself. So, tell me about when you first started getting into country music and singing. I started watching Nashville initially, and I fell in love with the way <laughs> that the storytelling paired with the music. And I didn't feel that that element came in with the pop music that I was listening to. And so something really resonated with me with the songwriting and storytelling that was happening on the TV show. And so at that point, country music was kind of taking a shift as well. It was going from something that was, you know, very much country music and bluegrass and all of those elements into something that was also starting to incorporate a lot of different elements like pop and rock and the things 
that I also yes. grew up with. So mm-hmm. it was really cool because I was like, oh, there's these elements of what I'm used to listening to now paired with all of this storytelling that I really love. And I feel like as a singer, I can present a song better if there's a story behind it. So right. I fell in love with it. I love that. That's amazing. Well, you are a phenomenal singer. <laughs> I absolutely you. love, love, love your music and your voice. And so you write your own songs. So tell me about that. Like, how did you get into songwriting? Because your music, your songs are very well written. Thank you. Yeah. I have a lot of co-writers now, so I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. But initially, I I always had written poetry as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, I have this in me. I have the songs in me. And I didn't know how to get them out. And one day, um, I had sat down about six years ago, and I said, just do it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be good. You just have to get one done. Yes. And I heard Ed Sheeran, he had said, it's like turning on a faucet for the first time. You got to let all the muddy water run clear. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I have to get the muddy song. I love that. Right? Mm -hmm. It's so important to remember it doesn't have to be perfect when you're starting. So I wrote on my own for three years. And then this past year, Mm -hmm. with all of the things, you know, that were happening with lockdowns and whatnot, I was able to write and Mm co-write with other people through all of the online platforms, which has been really cool. (laughs) That is amazing. Where do you get your inspiration for your songs? We probably all like to know about that <laughs> life <laughs> life yeah uh, a lot of dating experiences mm-hmm. family experiences I initially started writing the first couple songs I was writing based on what I wanted out of life and to try okay. and write the story the way I would tell it when the dating experiences weren't going so well right. and then I got all of this great content of a mm-hmm. lot of these you know not so great dating experiences mm-hmm. and I was like oh okay here's where you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. the real good content comes from is when life starts getting interesting mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. even more interesting when you do actually fall in love and you do meet that person so yeah. a lot of it's life for me kind of figuring out something or what I'm wrestling with um, a lot of the concepts on the new songs that we've been working on are finding your your path and really trusting mm-hmm. your heart and knowing that everybody can tell you where to go everybody can give you a direction Yes. They can give you, you know, their experiences, but they're only experiences so far as that person's traveled in their life. So Mm -hmm. it it's never going to be where you necessarily need to go. Mm -hmm. You're the only Mm -hmm. one that can know that. So Mm -hmm. a lot of these new songs are based on that. And so that was something that I wrestled with when we were working on that project in terms Mm -hmm. of like just where my heart was sitting. And Mm -hmm. so I always kind of draw on life and where I'm at. (laughs) I love that. Well, your songs are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And uh, where are you going next with this? What are your your plans? So many plans. (laughs) So we're going to do our, my next project is called Compass Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. this is what we're shooting for today. Uh, And there's going to be four songs off of that. So Mm -hmm. thank you. (laughs) Uh, Queen of Kentucky, Mm -hmm. uh, Find My Way Home, Built Me, and um, Benefits of You. So it's a little bit of a compilation of finding yourself, finding love or not finding love and Mm -hmm. just navigating life and, you know, figuring out where you're going and how to stay true to yourself. So that's coming out in pieces and Mm -hmm. then full EP next February. And Mm -hmm. while that's coming out, there's also a couple of other songs that we finished recording last year that I'll be releasing too. So there'll be three songs this year and then um, three more to come in early spring next year, probably February. Good so. for you. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you, you're you great. You're Thank so great. You. And I love your music, everything. I love when you send me little songs and clips and all that. I, I get like so excited. <laughs> yeah, they're so beautiful. You have such a beautiful voice. You're so talented. So right back I'm excited. at you. Thank you. I'm excited to see where you go from here. Thank you. Well, thanks for listening, guys. Um, Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'm sure Amberly will be back for another shoot Just subscribe Mm -hmm. below and you'll find out. Below or up. I think it's down now. (laughs) She knows.